Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'm glad you're taking the time to uh, join me today on this uh, episode of uh, Construction on the Green Bay and Western. So I'm just working uh, tonight on this west end of the staging yard where it meets the helix. I've had to rip the plywood so I can build the grade that's gonna gradually ascend um, to the helix. You can see I've just uh, laid a switch because I need to know where my track centers are gonna go so I can head the track in the foreground here to the passive staging. And uh, I've just laid out some templates. So I've just printed off, um, I'm, I'm using the Fast Tracks products and hand laying uh, for my switches on my layout. But um, you can see I just, I just printed out some templates so that I can see how the, the track work will, will spread out for the, um, for the track centers for, for the staging. And at the, Helix, and at the Helix here, you can see that I've removed the upper level. Um, and what I've done is I've drawn out the, the track center. So I have a 30 inch um, center made. And, and how I've done that, all I did was I just made a simple um, trammel to, to design my curves. So I've just took a piece of masonite that I've ripped and you can see that I have the screw set at the 30. So from that screw head to the center hole of where the pencil is here, that is exactly 30 inches. And what I've done is I've drawn all around just simple. I'm not reinventing any wheel here, but uh, I've drawn the center line so that I will be able to lay the cork in the track because I need to have that in place before I start the next um, level of the helix. So the cork that I've laid um, just after New Year, when my son and I had a chance to come down for, for just a few hours, that, uh, that all cured now, that's nice and solid. Um, I'm, I'm really happy how this, uh, how this kind of cork um, turned out. So it's, it's like I said, it's just that thin rubber for, um, they use it for, for any kind of application, but uh, the most I've seen it used for is like shelf, um, like in your toolbox for the liners for your, for your toolbox. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, I have no ripples, no bubbles. And uh, I think I'm just gonna continue this on for uh, the lower level and then I can do my judgment between uh, the cork the true cork and and this and this type of rubber so uh, yeah so I'm just glad you guys will be able to join me for that for the test so I don't know if I'm quite sold on the transition here I might have to um, revamp that it's not actually working out exactly like I wanted I don't really want an s-bend so I don't know if the worst case scenario I have to remove this piece it's all glued and everything but uh, or I might have to add a piece but this is the part of of the design that you kind of got to adapt as it goes so now I have my track centers in I can uh, start laying my my cork I need to do all the cork and all the um, rail for the first level helix before I can start the climb onto the second level. And from this, I'll, I'll lay the cork and I'll lay the rail, and then I can start adjusting my heights to start bringing it up on, on the backside. So this is where I've ripped those um, half sections of the cork, and I'll lay halves on each side of that pencil line, and this will bring me to have a perfect track center that we can lay the flex track on. And on the flex track, I'm just gonna use the Atlas Code 83 inside the Helix. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and rip these strips that I'm gonna to need to finish the Helix. Um, so like I've said before, to, to give me the, the correct width that I need of the track, um, I just use a piece of uh, three quarter plywood and I set it on, on the cork that I need to cut. I cut the strip. So unlike the uh, staging where I've cut the actual full width, you can't do that for the curve. So you have to cut it. Um, 
you have to cut it in half so that you can be able to lay it on the curves. So when it's, when it's cut in half, it makes it more pliable and you can make the curves that you need. Just like uh, the cork that you guys buy at the store and you rip it in half. If you had just the long full piece, it's too hard to do the bend. So it's exactly the way I do it. Save yourselves a ton of money and uh, the exact same effect. So there you guys have it. I'm just gonna continue working along. Um, if that's something that you guys wanna see, like the actual gluing and, and the laying of the cork, you know, hit me with uh, a message below and, and I'll, I'll, I'll stay on with those kind of videos. Otherwise, it's just is what it is. It's the same old boring uh, laying cork and uh, progress continues. So make sure you guys stick around and we'll catch you next time on uh, the next episode of the Green Bay and Western Lines.